What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. Today I wanted to talk about using AI, aka artificial intelligence, to auto-generate trading strategies. I've been working on something super cool where I can auto-generate strategies using indicators and technical analysis, um, so I don't have to code the strategies by hand one by one. The reason why I've started building this is because I found that as I was creating new strategies to run with my algorithms, it was just getting really time consuming writing the code. And I was thinking to myself, you know, why not try and auto generate them, trying to, you know, mine data, look at, you know, historical prices for stocks and futures and try and use that data to automatically generate strategies. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I've built with this AI strategy auto generator. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'll actually show you how it works and you can kind of, you know, take a look at what I have built so far. Okay. The major benefit of auto generating strategies versus coding it yourself is it's much faster time wise, right? You save a lot of time uh, where you can, you know, run lots of tests through a lot of data and try and find strategies that are hopefully profitable, um, both in and out of sample. If you coded those all yourself, you probably wouldn't have enough time in the world to do that. Um, and you know, it, it speeds up the process significantly. Okay. Uh, so you can push out strategies faster. You can incubate them faster and maybe put them live with your real money faster as well. So that's the main benefit. The, I would say the major con or the major, you know, issue is you might be able to run a lot of strategies, but you're going to get a lot of not profitable strategies. And from a complexity standpoint, it takes some time to build this generator, right? I've been building this for probably two months now. So it's been two months of just, you know, testing and, and coding of this, you know, auto generated strategy where in two months I can probably code uh, five to 10 to 20 strategies uh, and have them incubating with my paper trading account or even live with real money um, within two months. So it does take some time to initially build it. But once you have all the parameters right and it's working how you want it, from there on, you know, it's it's much easier to to start, you know, running it and actually uh, using strategies for you. So my end goal with this is to, you know, have a process where I can run this AI generator and have, you know, X amount of strategies per year that I can just add um, to my actual portfolio and, and run them with my real money. And that way it saves a lot of time of me hand coding each new strategy, um, which, you know, some strategies can take me weeks or months to code depending how I'll how complex they are. Now there's a lot of features missing in this AI generator and it's still not done. Um, it doesn't feature fundamentals It only use technical analysis and indicators, uh, which is a great first step. But obviously, um, stuff like fundamentals and news and sentiment are also really big factors in a price movement for a certain asset, right? And sometimes they're actually generally better, uh, instead of just using say, you know, some simple moving average or RSI, um, you know, those indicators, they might make sense for a certain part of time, but at the end of the day, what moves the price for most assets are generally news, some type of event sentiment, and even fundamentals such as like an earnings call and, you know, say that they beat earnings or miss earnings, that sort of thing. So, um, you can definitely find success with indicators. Um, but, uh, I wouldn't say you can find success with indicators alone and you have to constantly, you know, switch your strategies on or off depending on the current market cycle because just because say an SMA crossover works for um, Tesla stock, you know, a year ago, maybe it doesn't work today, right? And like, why doesn't it work? It's so it's understanding why it doesn't work and, um, you know, figuring out, okay, why doesn't, why doesn't it work or why does it and finding that pattern? Because at the end of the day, what you want to find with strategies is patterns and frequency, right? How often is this pattern happening and can we exploit it? Can we use it for future reference? Uh, to buy or sell some type of asset and hopefully, you know, exploit it to make a profit, right? That's what it comes down to. So what I've learned is, you know, with this AI generator, I want to find patterns faster, right? And automate finding those patterns because manually, I just, you know, there's only 24 hours in the day. And of those 24 hours, I may work eight to 10, 12 hours. Um, and it just, I could get a lot more done if this was automated. And so that's why I built it, right? And I want to show you guys. So if you guys would use this, if you would find value in a AI auto strategy generator, leave a comment below because um, I won't be releasing the source code yet. I'm going to be using this for my personal use and potential business use in the future. But if this is something you're interested about and you would find value in this, leave a comment below and maybe we can work on, you know, offering something or collaborating somehow. 
but um, I just wanted to show you because I think this is cool and it's helped me save me a lot of time so far. Once again, it's still not perfect. Um, there's a lot of you know features I want to add, but we're going to hop in. I'm going to show you how it works um, and, and kind of give you guys a, a little preview of this AI auto strategy generator. Let's hop in. Okay, so here's um, kind of the front end user face for the AI strategy generator. I did build this in the NinjaTrader platform. Um, just because that's kind of what I use and I want to easily as soon as strategies are auto generated from mining uh, We can start, you know integrating them with my live account. So um, Basically, uh, so the name of its AI strategy generator and then you have a lot of cool options here on what you want the strategy to do So um, I have a long checkbox. So are we going long or short? Um, and a short one as well, you know trying different profit targets of percentage um, so profit target of three stop loss of 1% we have a trail stop as well. If it's zero, the trail stop isn't used. If it's above zero, uh, it's used instead of the profit target and stop loss. And then we have TA, technical analysis. So signals to try. So with right now it's five. That means we try five random signals every time we run this AI strategy generator. And then the value, this is the value that determines, okay, our, you know, with what signal, what, once we have that signal, what value of that signal are we trading at? So for example, say you had RSI and the value was 30, Whenever the RSI is 30, it will go either long or short, depending on you know what they're checked. And if they're both checked, it will kind of randomly decide and pick the best one. Uh, and then we have the day of the week. So if it's checked, it will actually use a random day of the week. If it's not checked, um, it will trade every day essentially. Um, so you'll see. I'll do some running, some some test runs right here. So hit run. Didn't find any trades that time. Hit run again. Still no trades. And then we got some trades, right? So it's using, looks like the range indicator. I made some trades. I hit run again. No results. And then we get a lot of results, right? So it's every every new run, it's constantly mining for new strategies and, and trying different indicators. Um, you'll see that obviously in this case, it was still one indicator, but if we say, if we try say 10, 10 signals and maybe let's make the value 50 you'll start seeing that um, there'll be multiple signal entries. So I'm gonna try and get one here. All right, so here's one example. So in the entry name here, it says a rune oscillator, which was the majority of the trades. But there's also a trade using the MFI indicator. Um, so you can see that there's two different kind of indicators that are being used with this strategy. And obviously if I increase the signals, say 100, and the value will just do one. Uh, we should see, you know, tons of trades with multiple different indicators. Just going to take longer to run. Now, um, what's cool with this is obviously I'm just using the back test type. If I change this to say optimization or walk forward, it will actually give us the, um, you know, op most optimized strategies to use, which is at the end of the day, what I want to do. What I'm showing you right now is just kind of random back test. So kind of the results are all over the place, but you can see with this, there was four different signals that were used. The stock RSI, the R squared, N bars up, N bars down, key reversal up. So it, you know, it's mining. It, it's it's trying every single possible scenario. And in this case, it's a back test. So it's whatever scenario comes up, that's what shows. But if we change this to optimization or walk forward optimization, it's going to give us the best results. So uh, let's, I change it to, instead of back test type, I change it to optimization. Let's try, um, we'll leave the profit targets at three and one, but we'll try, say, 10 signals and for the value we'll try from zero to 100 and we'll increase by one uh, and we'll leave day of the week checked so it will only trade one day of the week I'll hit run hopefully this doesn't take too long yeah it's pretty quick so we got it looks like no results I'll try and hit run again let me try let's try a day of the week off I think that could be the issue. Let's see if we get some some better, some actual results here instead of just zeros. Okay, there we go. So we got one one result, run optimization that made um, $3,000. So that's not bad, but yeah, it looks like I had a lot of losses. Um, so anyways, yeah, like I said, this this isn't perfect yet. But it's what I've started and I wanted to kind of show you guys because I do plan on using this for myself 
uh, just to save a lot of time with creating strategies because it, it takes a lot of time coding each one manually. Now I would still, I'm still coding some manual strategies that are harder to automate for now. Uh, for example, I'm working on a new sentiment strategy that will actually read news headlines and descriptions and actually kind of rank the words uh, and, and trying to correlate that, okay, will this asset go up or down in price and essentially buy when that you know article comes out. So that's something that's a bit harder to automate and I'd still manually do that. But my goal with this is to, you know, at a glance, quickly generate uh, hopefully profitable strategies. You can see that, you know, there's still a lot of bugs. We, we're getting a lot of results that, uh, you know, just no trades at all. Um, okay, never mind. It could be it could be a ninja trader bug because I clicked on this one. It said total net profit was zero, but now we had some trades come up. Interesting. Anyway, so there's still a lot of work to be done, but um, I wanted to kind of give you guys a preview. Once again, if this is something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below um, if you if you would you know use this or if you just prefer coding your own strategies um, and the benefits of that, that's fine too. You can leave that a comment as well. I like to kind of get different sides of opinions here. But right now I'm just gonna be using this for myself um, and I think it's cool. And if, if I think it's cool, I'm gonna share it with you guys on YouTube. So that's kind of what this channel is about. So anyways, that's the video guys. I hope you found value in this and we will see you next week. Stay tuned, we got some more crypto content on the way. I'm working on a machine learning crypto bot um, episode, I think it's four or five of the Interactive Brokers Python bot will be coming out tomorrow. And then my March returns, which I had a great month, will be coming out probably Saturday next week. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, cool stuff on the way for you guys. Um, and we hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.